darling. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Ready? Was in not too long, actually, Bailey. <laughs> so I'd like you to lengthen long on the mat. And just to wake up, I'd like you to place your feet on the mat, hip distance apart. And we'll bring the hands to the uh, low part of the tummy in between the hip bones. And maybe let the sides of your fingers feel into those hip points, fingers pointing down toward the groins. Let the elbows go soft here. And I'd like you to lift all 10 uh, toes and then place down from the outside of the foot. So get the pinky toe down and really get it down. Then get the second toe down, it's not very easy. And then the third toe, the fourth toe, and the big toe, and try to spread the toes, especially the big toe and the fourth toe. Now, when you feel that spread, I'd like you to put the weight into the feet and get the, um, slide the hip bones. We're gonna get our little coccyx curve, so I'd like you to get a little bowl with your tummy and lift the butt up a tiny bit, but still your back is on the ground, okay? You just lifted your sacrum and your uh, low tummy and your butt. And keep those hands softly on the tummy, fingers pointing toward the ground. Now rock on the pelvis until you feel a little lift, a little back bend. Yeah, so focus on the low tummy here. Rock it back down, so lower the back down. Lift the butt ever. It's just not really even lifting. It's just pressing forward. Those toes are still really spread. And then exhale, lower that down and feel the rocking motion. We're going to do that a couple more times. Hands on the tummy. So you feel those lower basically five inches of the lowest part of the tummy, rock the spine. Very good. So we're gonna feel that, we're gonna feel that low tummy, how that's a little different when you rock the hips forward and then you send that little coccyx curve down, you get a little lift. Now, the next time your butt lifts, I'd like you to place your hands more on your rib cage, point your fingers in toward the rib cage yeah, so you've got it really nice and almost like your fingers reflect your skeletal structure. Good, and now we're gonna keep all of that and do the same thing. Rock it down, get that little coccyx curve on the inhale, and then exhale, get a nice big lift of a low back, like you could fit a little something under there. And do that a couple more times, lower it down, feel your ribs, lift your butt. Now lift your butt higher because you can. And then lower it down and rock it again. So you have a real back bend here. Toes are spread. Meanwhile, up we go. And so lift the back up. So now just your upper back is on the ground. The middle back is lifted. Exhale, lower that down to get a little bit of a back bend. Just one more. Inhale, lower it all down. So now you're using that middle part of your core. You're getting those hip flexors nice and long. And then place that down to get one more back bend. Good. Now I'd like you to bring your arms into cactus arms, goal post arms. Those elbows are near the shoulders. And we're going to lift everything up. So let's get that little coccyx curve. Lift up, we're lifting everything up, but we're on the shoulders only. You feel the strength of that upper back and you're basically in bridge posture. Nice, now roll the back from the top to the middle. We'll lower it to the bottom. Get your coccyx curve, you're in a really big back bend. Press the shoulders and the elbows down and we'll continue that way. Inhale, lift into bridge, squeeze there, and then top to the bottom, lower down and lift into a back bend. Good, a couple more, lift up, really squeeze at the top. Nice, and now so the whole back is into play. That's the whole core working all in unison. Do one more. Inhale, lift up, and still you have a little coccyx curve here because the belly button is in. And then from the top of the spine, you keep the belly button in and get a back bend. Nice, so those are the parts we're waking up. I'd like you to press the whole back down, 
Take your arms, let's bring them down to the mat for support. I'd like you to inhale, lift your head, neck and shoulders up. Elongate your feet. Nice, now reach your arms forward. Rotate the palms down and we're pressing down for 100s. Good, so we're doing three variations of 100. Here the whole body is nice and long. And I recommend you might do a four count breath. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Press the whole back down to the ground. Everything that's on the ground, clearly the shoulders are not, but the bottom of the shoulder blades are. Press it down, pull the low tummy in. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Lift up as much as you can. Yeah, it's not easy. Good, get that whole back on the mat. Good, keep breathing, breathing, breathing. We're doing one more round. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Slowly roll it down. Take an inhale, press your palms down. Bring your right leg into tabletop. Pause here, get the whole back on the ground. So you've got your hip bones even. Use the strength of your arms and shoulders and that back. Lift that left leg up into tabletop. Tabletop is so the knees are perpendicular. Put the whole back on the ground, good. Maybe send those legs away. You can rest something on those shins. Once again, inhale, roll it forward, palms reach forward, and we go again. Press the whole back down, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Is your low back on the ground, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Is your low back on the ground, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Three more rounds, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One more, inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Right toes down, left toes down. Roll the head, neck and shoulders down, heels down, pause. Arms relax by your sides, take a full inhale. Take a full exhale. Now, right leg comes in. We're shining the right leg up to the sky. And our tendency when we bring a leg to the sky is to make the hips really uneven. Can you send the legs away so you feel the hip bones are even? Press your palms next to you. Take an inhale. Exhale, that left leg comes up to still. The legs are in the air. Are the bikini bones even? Here we go. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Reach those arms toward in front of you, the base of the mat. And here we go. Get the whole back on the ground. And here we go. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, yes, so good. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Keep going, four, three, two, one. Exhale, excellent. Keep the knees bent if you need to. Wonderful, four, three, two, one. Reach up a little more with head, neck, and shoulders, two, one. Yes, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Arms are so straight and strong. Keep the breath flowing. Exhale, totally reach it out. Do one more, four, three, two, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Yes, slowly. Yes, lower it down. Excellent. Press the hands next to the hips. We're lowering the feet all the way down. We're trying to get that toe spread again, and I just like you to come into bridge posture. We'll inhale, bring the knees a little closer together so you get that same feeling you had when you were in that first extended bridge posture. Good, and then from the top of the bottom, we roll it down, nice. Now we're gonna continue with the abs. We're gonna do a little bit of an intensive this morning. With the abs, we just have another series of three things, okay? We're gonna get out of bridge posture. I'd like you to bring your feet a little bit closer to each other and bring your ring into your hands. So the feet are separated, most definitely. The ring is in your hands. I'd like you to bring it up above your face and we're gonna keep that there. Get a nice little soft bend in your elbows. 
We're gonna get that hold back on the ground again. See the belly button is in grounded into the mat. It's like you just nailed it into the mat. Good, and I'd like you to lift your head, neck and shoulders up. Bring the ring over to the right and pulse that ring up. Now, as you pulse that ring up, clearly that left shoulder blade is off the ground. Can you get the right shoulder off the ground too? Now, when we do that, we try, the left hip wants to come with, oh, you have to keep those hip points pointing straight up. Yeah, so what are you using? You're using that upper quadrant of the left side of your body. Press it up and up and up. It's like you're offering something up and do it again, up and up. So you're using that top of the rib cage that one that you really felt when your hands were on your rib cage on the left side. Good. Try to keep everything else even. The lower part of the body is even. Nice. Now keep lifted. Bring it back to center. Press up. Up. Now you're using both sides. You've got that right side helping. If you need to lower the head down to continue, I understand. If it's nicer, look forward, that can feel nice to release the neck muscles. By the way, using the neck muscles is not a bad thing. Good, up, 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 up. Hold at your highest point, reach it over to the right and press it up, press it up. Now clearly, right shoulders off the ground, can you get the left shoulder off the ground? Obviously, if you need to lower the head, you're welcome to do that, but try to keep it up nice and lifted. Yes, really good. Try to keep those pubic bones nice and even. I know it's hard. Do four, three, amazing. Good. Bring it to center first and lower all the way down. Excellent. You're welcome to soften the elbows, soften that ring for a moment. Take a nice little inhale here. Now we're gonna get into the lower part of the tummy, okay? So pause for another second. We press the whole back into the ground. Once again, we have our little coccyx curve. That right knee comes in, the left knee comes in, and we shine the legs to the sky again. We send the legs away just a little bit. Good, now take an inhale. I'd like you to lift that ring up. So lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Bend into that right knee. Bring it to tabletop. Place that right toe down and lift it up. Right toe down and lift it up. Right toe down and lift it up. Nice. Keep going. Now, if you need to lower head, neck, and shoulders, please do. Now, you've isolated that low right side of the body. And it's easy when you bring that toe in close to your butt if we need to elongate that toe out toward the front of your mat. Keep going, reach it out and away. Yeah, fantastic. But oh, you have to keep the low back on the ground too. It's not easy isolating that lower right quadrant of the body. Do three and two and one. Lower the heel of the right foot, lower your head, neck and shoulders. I'd like you to cross your left leg over that bent right knee. Take that left hand, you're welcome to relax the ring down. Take that left hand and we're not pressing the left knee away. We're just trying to make the hip bones even to the sky. Okay, so that opening comes, you're gaining some inches from the hip bone to where the top of the left leg starts. Nice, now when you do that, the back is even on the ground, okay? Note that. So now we get the other side. So we place that left foot carefully down, nice and even in the hips. Let's inhale that right leg in. We reach up this side, reach for your ring again. Good. Bend into that left leg, reach that leg up. Take an inhale, up go the head, neck, and shoulders. So you've given the ring more to the sky. We bend that left leg at the knee and we tap the toe way out and down, way out and down, bring it up only to tabletop, no higher, out toward the front of your bed and up. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Clear if you need to lower head, neck and shoulders, please do tap and lift. 
Yeah, so um, the right legs to the sky. Yeah, good, now fantastic. Tap and lift. Try to reach it more toward the front of your mat. Try to lift only up to when it's perpendicular, parallel to the mat. Tap, yeah, and lift. Tap and lift, fantastic. Tap and lift and tap and lift. A little lower with the shin, Susie. Mm-hmm, tap. Uh, yep, and lift up, uh, pause. Mm-hmm, don't bring that leg so high. Just do two more, lower it down, little tap, just parallel to the mat, mm-hmm, good. One more, nice and, yep, right there, excellent. Lower the toes down, lower the heel down, and bring the opposite leg down to meet it. Ah, one more, I promise. We're gonna get away from those intensive abs in just a minute. We're gonna keep the rings in the hand. Now I'd like you to modify as you need to, as always, okay? So inhale, the ring is above your head. I'd like you to bring it up behind your head, but get a nice soft bend in your elbows. We're getting the whole back on the ground by that rings overhead, press the top of the spine down and the whole back down. From the strength of your low tummy, reach your knees in so they're about a 45 degree angle. So you see my legs? Yeah, they're a nice angle. Something would slide down your shins if it was on them. Very good. Now I'd like you to inhale. We make it a big exhale. Shh. Bring that ring up and away. We're tapping it over to the right and bringing it over to the left over to the right and bring it over to the left. Now something would slide off your shins if it were on there. Reach it way over, way out as much as you can, lift as much as you can, reach it up, press it away, reach it up, press it away. So it's like you want to roll over, you're pressing so far away. Keep the elbows bent, press it away. Press it away, good, keep the nips nice and even. Don't be rocking back and forth, press it away. Excellent, good, reach right and then left. Yes, getting into those sideways, excellent. Up and over, yes, up and over. Keep the head, neck and shoulders lifted. Fantastic, keep the whatever sliding down towards you, sliding towards you so the feet go up, mm-hmm. And we go for two, Shh. over to the other side, one more. And over to the other side. Let's bring that ring up overhead. Let's bring it past that ring, let's lower the feet first. And then pass that ring up so it's up behind you. Good, and now I'd like you to bring your hands behind your thighs. Finally, right? We're gonna cross at the ankles. We're gonna roll on up until we're sitting. Yeah, and you're welcome to rotate forward. Good, now sit in that cross leg. Oh, I forgot to do that knee thing on the other side. But we wanna feel that spaciousness in the bikini bones, okay? I'd like you to press your hands on your knees. And you're welcome to wrap those fingers around the knees and lean back just a little bit. So keep the knees down. Try to get that spaciousness between the bikini bone where the top of the leg starts with that strength of the back. Good, so now you're really using your powerhouse core to sit up straight. Can you roll the shoulders back and bring those hands on top of the thighs? Keep all that length. You're sitting up in amazing straight posture. Excellent, now we're gonna roll forward. We're gonna spread the fingers as much as you spread the toes. Nice and wide, I'd like you to point the index fingers toward the front of the mat and let your hips articulate and widen, broaden back behind you. Now keep the chest open here. When we reverse it into cat position, I'm not gonna have your hang your head so much as straighten your arms. So look toward the front of your mat. And now articulate those hips, let them widen and broaden back behind you, pull the low belly in. Look forward, simply straighten the arms, keep the gaze toward the front of the mat. So you get a lift of the armpits. It's where the lats are. Good, and the rhomboids, and do it one more time. The hips kind of widen and broaden back behind you. And then exhale, the arms stay really straight 
and we feel that lift in the side waist, basically. Nice, now let's slip those hands a little bit far forward. I'd like you to curl the toes under and rise back up. We're gonna rise into plank position. So elongate the legs. You have the bent a lot. I'd like you to elongate the legs. Rock the shoulders forward over the rest, the crown of the head toward the front of the mat. Rock the heels back. Inhale forward. We keep the spine plank straight. Exhale, heels go back. Inhale forward. Exhale, heels go back. Good. Keep those heels back. I'd like you to separate your feet a little wider so they're probably as wide as your hands. Take an inhale, pull up, make those arms stick straight. Feel that space between your armpits and the uh, side waist, especially in the back. Bring those right fingers towards your heart. Try to keep everything else even. Bikini bones pointing down. Place that right hand where it was. Inhale, exhale that left hand toward the right side of the chest. Try to keep everything else even. Lower that left hand down twice more. Inhale, everything's even. Right hand to the heart. Lower that hand under the shoulder, good. When we bring that hand to the heart, we try not to shift the hips. Lower that left hand under the shoulder, right hand, pause, hold, yes. Lower that right hand down, left hand, pause, hold, yes. Lower that left hand down, good. Lower the knees down. I'd like you to press back into child's pose. Now here, soften the forearms. Let the belly really feel loose in between the thighs. And you might want to rock side to side a little bit so you get a little more release in your sideways. Yeah, very, very nice. Really nice. Yeah, let that body go a little bit. Now, I'd like you to bend your elbows and bring your hands back behind your head. So when you bend the elbows, you'll be pressing the elbows down and the triceps down. Mm -hmm. And the hands can be united, they can be clasped. They might also soften on your shoulders. So you can just give those hands and shoulders a little connection. Now, if you like press the elbows down so we really feel the triceps activate. Yeah, good shift forward of the elbows, Mel. Excellent. Very nice. Let's take one more breath here. Feel that great tricep opening. Okay, now that we've got all that nice and open, I'd like you to lower the forearms back down Rise on up, we're coming into a forearm plank now. So you can welcome to spread the fingers nice and wide as you were before, or interlace the fingers, your choice, wherever you are, just like your shoulders and elbows in the same plane. One leg goes back, we use those curled under toes. The other leg goes back, we use those curled under toes and we find a true plank position. Get all those cues that we used before. So the heels rock back. Good, we press down with the forearms and the hands so we get that lift between the armpits and the side waist. I'd like you to lower your right knee down and lift it up. Lower the left knee down and lift it up. Tap up, tap up, tap up. Are the bikini bones pointing down the entire time? Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Tap, lift, only the knee is lowering. Everything else is nice and puffy and lifted. You've got a lot of space in the chest. The shoulders are wide, the collarbones are wide as you tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Two up, two up, one up, one up. Lower the whole body down. Now keep that upper body nice and strong. There's your, think of your back, your middle spine. I want you to imagine dragging the elbows in towards your hips. So you've got wideness in those collarbones. You're trying to drag those elbows toward the hips. You feel that strong back. Take an inhale here. Look down, curl your toes under and rise back up into forearm plank. 
Very good. Pause here. I'd like you to shift that left bikini bone toward the ground, even it out. Right hip bone down toward the ground and a little shift and turn, even it out. Left hip, lower it down. You're not lowering, you're simply facing it more toward the ground. Lift it back up. Soften that right hip bone down. You straight to lift it back up. Left bone lowers down a little tiny lower body twist, reach it up. Right hip lowers down the tiny little twist. So yeah, remember we're isolating that lower part of the white right quadrant and then the left quadrant. Good, we're doing two more. Simply lower down a tiny little bit, lift it up. Lower a tiny little bit, lift it up. One more round, tiny little bit lift and a tiny little bit lift. Excellent, child's pose. Drag those arms back with you. Yeah, make those legs nice. And again, you might want to shimmy a little bit. That's going to give that low back more space. And it's just going to feel really nice to let the belly soften. We've got it so engaged. Give it a little break. Really strong core work. Now that we've used half the class to use the four focus on the core, we're going to use that core to find more balance and strength in standing positions, kneeling positions, and seated positions. And so I'd like you to rise up from child's pose. We're coming on to the shins first, and we're going up an interesting way. So we're going to use our balance. We're going to use those toes that we've gotten so wide open and nice and flexible. Let's bring the hands forward. I'm going to show you on the side here. We're going to bring those hands forward. We'll lift the hips so we can curl the toes under and then press up so we're more on the balls of the feet and we're facing forward. So we're a little rounded here. The spine is rounded. The fingers are on the ground. Now, you're welcome to keep those knees together. I prefer, I feel so much safer when I widen the knees, bring the hands in between the knees, and so the balls of the feet and the heels are united. If you have tender meniscus or inner knee issues, you might feel better here. Your choice, reach it out. The goal here is to get your pelvis, those bikini bones face forward, the pelvis is resting down, Pull the low stomach in so you just got more height. Bring that right hand to your heart. Nice. Get some peripheral vision. Don't really look at anything, just some peripheral vision gazing down and bring your left hand to your heart. Feel the height first. We're going to rise up to standing, but I want you to feel the balance and the beauty of this. When you're ready, it's on an exhale that you rise on up. So take a nice drink of air. And then as you exhale, press your palms, rise up on using the balls of your feet, lift up, yeah. And then please lower the heels down. Wonderful, so if you're not already, I'd like you to find your Pilates V. We've got those nice heels connected. From those heels, we have a huge lift. The heels press down so that we can get those fronts of the legs lifting. We feel evenness there. The belly button is pressing back. It's also pressing down and the front of the pelvis has a little lift. In our Pilates, we like you to lower the fingers down. You're in those fingers down to the ground like your Mr. Long fingers and your fingers are going into the ground. Take an inhale, rise up onto the balls of the feet. Lower the heels, I'd like you to plie, bend the knees. Inhale, squeeze it up, squeeze the butt. Lower it down, find a little plie heels together. Inhale, yeah, rise up. Yeah, have you seen little girls in ballet? And I know some of you have, we lower it down. Inhale, reach it up. Yeah, use those toes, lower it down, we find a plie. Now, when we find the plie, keep all this engaged, right? Inhale, rise up so the butt doesn't go back. We've got all that discipline in the core. We have to use it so all this lifts. Inhale, rise up. Nice, lower it down. We find our plie, yes. Inhale, lift up. The string of the crown of the head is reaching. Lower it down. It hasn't moved an inch. 
twice more. Inhale, squeeze the buttocks, send the pelvis forward and lower it back down. One more. Inhale, up, squeeze the buttocks, shift the pelvis forward, hold. Nice, you're in those fingers down, hold here. Good, get as high as you can. Notice that balance. We hold for 10, nine, I know we're shaking. Of course we are, six, five, keep breathing nice and tall, it's so hard. Two and one, lower those heels back to your Pilates feet. Keep that right foot pointed out. I'd like you to send that left toe pointing forward just down the ground, very ballerina-like. Mm -hmm. We get that little lift up, bend that knee out at an angle and the toe points down. Nice. Now tap it down and lift it up. Good. Now keep it out at an angle. Now we're not tapping, right? We're just sending it down and up, down and up. It's a little hard because we don't have the feedback from the ground to reach it down and up. Nice, very swan-like-esque, yeah? Press it down and up, down and up. I got my ballet renewal subscription that might actually be live ballet this year. So I was very excited, but thinking about ballet. So up and down and up, two more down and up and down and up. Here we hold, we flex the foot. I'd like you to send that heel forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Four more, forward and back. Try to lead with your heel and back, forward and back, forward and back. Good, bring it forward, point that toe down, Unite those heels down. Good, we press and feel the evenness. Probably feeling a little different on this side. You're in those fingertips down. Good, weight that left leg, that right toe points out to the side. And just to get the feeling, let's reach it up. The knee is bent and down. Yeah, wonderful. Reach it up and reach it down, good. And now here we go, we send it forward and we lift up. So it's really from the inner leg that we're getting that lift. It's the inner thigh, but it's going all the way down to where the meniscus starts. We yearn those fingertips down and maybe even behind so that we can feel everything lift. So I'm gonna shift to the side. You might even feel a slight little lean back. It looks like a lean back, but what's really happening is the pelvis is even and finding an even lift. Up and down, up and down, up and down, really good, just two more. Up and down and up and down. Flex the foot for me and we send it forward and back. So now I've got that outside of the leg engaged too. We're using both parts. We open the inner up, we're using the outer now as well. Up and back, good. Up and back, up and back. Two more, really, really nice, good. Point the toe first, feel elongation, and then place the heel down. Nice, now I'd like you to reach for your Pilates ring. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna do a few things with the rings. First, it's going to go forward. So that balance that we found in the toes, we'll use that again. And if you're, if you're comfortable on the mat, that's nice carpet, wood floor, wherever you feel the grippiest, I'd like you to find that place in your space. The feet come more distance now, but they're not as even as wide as hips. You might want the toes close to each other, but narrower than your hips, that's it. We're bending the knees. Remember that elongation when something was sliding off our shins? That's the position we're finding, except now we're standing. So something sliding off our shins down toward the ground. The ring comes forward generally encircling the tummy region. Take an inhale, squeeze and lift up. Good. Now rise on up. I'd like you to bring your hands around the rings 
and pulse your ring in toward you. Try to keep your elbows in close to you so the elbows aren't reaching out. Those elbows are squeezing into your powerhouse core. It makes it a little harder. And we press and we feel the chest broaden. Can the chest really rise up? The ring is around generally your lower tummy. Just lower it a little tiny bit. Yeah, lower the ring a little bit lower. Yeah, perfect, Mel. Squeeze, nice, squeeze. Squeeze and hold, let it go. Squeeze and hold, let it go. Do two more, squeeze and hold, let it go. Squeeze and hold, let it go. Lower the heels, stand up. Take a nice big inhale. Now I'm gonna show you what we're going to do and we're gonna do this together, you know, generally. It's, we're on our own time. But we'll bend into the, it's around the tummy, yeah? When we rise on up, we're gonna feel that squeeze. We squeeze the ring around the tummy and then we lift it up. Up, 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 right around the chest or chin and lower down, 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 down. Elbows are in close. Reach it up, 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 up and down, 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 down. Tummy up, up, up toward the chest and down, down, down. Elbows in super close. Use those elbows, it makes the balance amazing, you guys, more challenging, amazing. And up and down with the ring, up, 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 yes, nice. Do two more rounds. Up, up, up and down, down, down. Up, up, up and down, down, down. Lower the heels, let's stand straight up. Just let that ring dangle for a minute. Maybe bring in the opposite hand. Let's dangle it for a minute. Now we stretched our triceps. So guess what? We have to use all that, right? Nothing for not. So we bring the ring behind us. I'm going to have you soften the hands around the ring. I like the fingers pointing down. So Mr. Long fingers again. The fingers point down around the handles. Again, separate the feet a little bit. Some like a little squeeze of the legs, but we're trying to focus on balance. So possible is an inch or two between your feet, maybe three. Take an inhale, bend. Something is sliding off your thighs now and your shins. Good. Let's lift it up. Pull the low stomach in. That's where the work comes, right? Bend the elbows back behind, but squeeze them in without shutting your, just, shutting your chest out. Ugh, mixing up the words. Pull the low stomach in so you feel more elongation in your torso and press the ring, press the ring, press the ring. Nothing's going to happen really. The elbows are to the sky. You're just working those triceps. The ring is way too hard to press with this tiny little itty bitty muscle pressing it back. Good. So we got multitasking going on in a big way here. Press, press. Press, press, keep going, press, 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 keep going, press, 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 one more round, keep going, press, 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 lower the heels, let that ring soften back behind you. I recommend just standing nice and tall, rest those triceps. We're doing one more tricep thing. Just take another breath here. Very good. Now the ring goes more in our hands. The elbows are still bent, so the ring is just soft on your hands, on the base of your hands. We find the same position. Take an inhale, pull that tummy in. Look at something that won't move, but get some peripheral distance vision. Look down, rise up onto the balls of the feet, lift the ring up and down. Now, as you do that, the chest wants to really roll out. That's not happening because you're lifting the triceps up. You're not using the chest. You're only using the triceps and you've got the torso completely elongating long. Reach it up, lower it down, reach it up. Lower it down, the elbows are bent, reach it up. Lower it down, reach it up, amazing. Reach it up, lower it down, nice. Good, keep everything nice and lifted. Fantastic, you guys, up and down and up and down. We're doing three more up and down and up and down and up. 
and down. Let's lower the heels. I'd like you to stand up tall. Just bring the ring in front of you. Pause for a moment. And I'd, I'd like you to show this how we're gonna unite everything we've done into a twist in just a moment. And so I'd like to show this to you and then we're gonna do it together. Standing nice and tall. We'll reach that right leg up to tabletop and we're gonna put the right foot in the ring. Both hands are on the other handle. Hard to look away. <laughs> Both hands on the other handle. It's basically the ball of, or, um, yeah, the ball of the foot in the ring. So we're gonna leg, then we'll feel that leg nice and long, the leg can be flexible. Good, so we're gonna lift that leg up high, but once again, we use the ring to open the chest. So we reach that chest up. It seems like you're jutting the chest forward, but you're just finding length. Good, we'll do this on the other side too. When you have that, we're gonna bring that left hand to the base, the handle of the ring, and then we're gonna bring that right hand to the right low side waist. Good. That's all we're gonna do at first. Then we're gonna add on bringing that right arm out to the side and maybe the right arm up to the sky. The right arm out to the side and up to the sky. Okay, so when you're ready to join me, first we elongate, it's that right leg, the left hand is around the handle after you've done your little stretch. Right ball of the foot forward, we get the lift of the chest. Remember, it's core. So pull the low stomach in. We reach those right fingers forward. Then we reach them out to the side, like you're closing something, reach it forward. Reach it out to the side. Now lift it up and reach it out to the side. Lift it up, reach it out to the side and lift it up. So that left ankle is working so hard out to the side, reach it up. Do one more out to the side, reach it up, bend the knee, let's lower the foot and the arm. Without thinking about it too much, we go to the other side. So push down on that right foot. I like to bring that ring, um, just both hands on that handle first to get a stretch. So we'll send that left foot forward just to get that feeling of that left leg elongating. It's nice to kind of send that heel forward so you really feel opening here, opening that back of the knee. Good, so lift up with the heart. Yeah, we're not jutting anything forward. We're just standing up tall, like when we were seated tall. Nice, and now we've got both, we've got the, um, sorry, that uh, right hand on the center of the handle. Let's lower that left hand down. Reach that left hand out to the side and reach it up. Lower down away from the body perpendicular, reach it up. Out and up. I tend to rotate the shoulder. I want you to do whatever feels good to you. If you want the palm open to the sky, if that's nicer on your shoulder. If you want to get that shoulder rotation, you can rotate the shoulder each time. Yeah, like down and up, and down, and up. Good, so that right side of the body is working. It's working hard because it's confused. The left side is working to toss it around on the seas. Throw it off balance, up and down. Up and down, just two more. Up, down, bend the knee, let's reach it down and lower it down, good. Now we're gonna get a nice stretch. I'd like you to widen the feet. They can be pigeon toed. We're gonna to bring the ring handle forward of you. I'd like you to press those hands around the handle of the other side. Let the elbows bend. Let the head just really sort of relax between those bent arms. And here, it sounds crazy, we're gonna find a little bit of a cat and cow. So the same cues that we had last time, we're really just kind of feeling as we find what's called cow position in this sense, we're gonna feel those hips kind of broaden and articulate, the arms are long, and then we exhale, we just kind of round the spine a little bit, but it's more about long arms, spaciousness between the armpits, the lats, the rhomboids. Do that a couple times, so we'll find our 
cow spine with the hips reaching back and broadening. And then elongate the arms, maybe the head hangs a little more. Couple more, bend the knees, feel cow. And exhale, feel this crazy modified cat. Do another one. Bend the knees a little cow. And exhale, press it down for cat. Good, now we're gonna soften that ring away. And I can heel to the feet together for me. Nice, now let those fingertips come under your shoulders to get a very round spine. We'll pull the tummy in profoundly, press the feet down and we're rolling up. Now get that crazy round C curve cat spine. Get that crazy round C curve cat spine. Reach those arms forward. This time we're all not bringing them up around the head, we're just reaching them forward. Nice, now I wanna really focus on getting a cat spine. So look down. Round down, so almost bring your uh, temples in between your elbows, and from there, take it down. Maybe keep those temples between your elbows, round the spine. Can you feel the back one piece at a time get more rounded in the seeker? But I'd like to focus especially on the space between your middle back and your low back, so those lower ribs where the pelvis starts, where the organs are, right? Where the kidneys are. Take an inhale here. And once again, we're not reaching the arms straight up. Press the feet down, round up, crazy, crazy rounding. Reach it up, point those fingers forward, lift the head, neck and shoulders and get space here. Get space here. Good, reach forward. Take an inhale, put your chin on your chest, tuck. And then as you begin to round, you're using the weight of your head. It comes between the hands and you continue rounding. Now, can you try not to shift the hips back, but shift the hips forward, weight those toes, get light on your heels, use the core to round down. Makes a big difference. So the weight of your butt is not helping. Take an inhale, we rise up the same way. Crazy round spine. The hips are sending back, you're using that rounded spine and core to reach up, look forward, feel all that space that you've gained here, fantastic, good. Stand up tall, take an inhale, look down, and once again, round, so you're rounding the head, the shoulders, everything else is super stable and long. You get those, generally speaking, you get the head and the ears inside the arms, and then you continue. It's much easier with our arms flailing around to focus on proper form. Weight the balls of the feet. Don't let the heels lower so you can keep the butt right above the knees. Very different sensation, isn't it? Lower those hands down. Now, can you keep the front of the foot weighted? and rise on up with that front of the foot weight of rising up the same way. Really, really round that spine, good. Place those hands forward. Once again, get nice and tall and lower those arms down. Nice, so sometimes and I just do that because sometimes when we exaggerate it, we're reaching those arms up, we're rounding down, the butt's going way back. This is what we don't want. We don't want the butt to go way back. And then of course, it's kind of easy to round down. Instead, if we keep it forward and the butt stays right above the hips, we get that profound C curve so that we round down. We're using our core to round. The legs and the butt could help us. We don't want their help, okay? I just want to indicate that that's why we're doing that exercise. All righty, now we're doing one more little standing series. I'd like you to reach for your ring. And this, we're just going to, we haven't worked much on the back of the hips, so we're just softening the ring in front of us. It's generally in front of the chest here. And we're just going to use this for balance, actually, and discipline. So I'd like you to send that right leg back behind you. We're really just squeezing the buttocks so that right leg goes long back behind us. Good. Now, a straight leg is really straight. So the leg is back there, but it's long really long, so get longer in your spine 
Reach that leg back. Nice, get far back as you can. Now rotate that leg out so the toes are pointing down a little bit. You're welcome to point or keep those toes flexed. And we lift that leg up, up, up. And now your ring is here for balance. If you would like to make this more challenging, you're welcome to bring it out further in front of you. You're welcome to reach it up over your head with bent elbows and keep it so it's on a bit of an angle that you're sending that right leg out and away. Up and up. What we don't want is any squeezing here. Instead, we want strength in the buttock. Use that strong buttock to lift up. But meanwhile, the core is contained. So if you need to bring the shoulders more far forward to stand up straight, please do. Wherever you are, the spine is very tall and you're using only the buttock. Oh, but guess what? Deep, deep balance, right? The left leg is very, very balancing. Send it away and away and away. We have two and one. Now swing that leg forward. I just like you to point those toes forward for a minute and then cross that leg over. So generally the pinky toes are aligned. Press the heels down or reaching that ring up. I'd like you to wrap your fingers, your left fingers around that ring. We're bringing it back behind. Lower that ring down a little bit. Very good. Now, can you rise up onto the tippy toes and lower it back down? Cross leg, and once again, we rise up onto the tippy toes and lower it back down. Just one more. So there's the heel. We go onto the ball of the foot first, and then we come up onto the tippy toes. There's the ball of the foot too, and lower it down. Very good. Let's uncross. We got that ring behind us. I'd like you to lengthen that left leg. So I just in doing that, I felt my whole torso shift forward. What we wanna do is correct that. Elongate that left leg, send that heel back, the toe is flexed, pull everything else in and up. So the leg is back behind you, but you have to be standing up straight, okay? The ring is behind you, it's forward of you, whatever feels good, I recommend forward for this. Rotate that leg out a little bit until you feel strong here and send that leg up and away, up and away, up and away. Now, wherever, whatever position in the arms helps you to keep the core long, that's what we're looking for. Experiment, maybe it's the ring out. So you have to use that spaciousness you found in the back. Maybe it's up above. Just don't go up above so that you're bowing it all and flex it back and back. Fantastic. Yeah, amazing balance. Wonderful, Susie. Back and back. Really great balance, Mel. Really strong. Back and back and back. We have three more. That's it, good, good, good. Take an inhale here. We're just gonna pause for a minute. I want you to bring those toes forward. Now cross those toes so we feel the pinky toes. Let's reach that ring up overhead maybe, and then we're gonna bring that ring back behind. Now I recommend lifting the toes, spread them, and then lower them back down. Just three times we lift up and we lower down. It's hard because we have a lot of support on one foot, not so much on the other, and we lower it down. Everything's trying to even out here. Reach it up. We also don't have the support of our hands. They're otherwise engaged. Lower it down. Just do one more for good measure. Very good, and let's lower it down. Nice, we'll uncross the legs. Let's slip that ring away for the moment. We'll come back to the long side of the mat and we came up an interesting way. I like to go down the same way. So we've gotten that discipline. I'm gonna face you, you're welcome to be at the front of your mat if you like. 
First, we'll come up, we're so used to it, so maybe bring the hands here, we'll rise up onto the tippy toes one last time, lower it down, and then bend into the knee. So there's the whole foot's on the ground, heel has to lift, then you're on the bald foot, you're relying on that, and then you come up a little bit more, send those arms forward, like add something heavy or your ring, reach it forward so you can really round the spine, place the heels down, Send the butt now down behind the heels. Good, now I'd like you to reach everything up into bow pose. We're just feeling that lift, we're feeling all that strength. We've got everything we worked on here today. We've got strength in the core. We've got balance, we've got nice lift. Now lower the feet down and I'd just like you to round the spine over the knees. Nice, let your head hang really nice in between, resting on the arms. The knees are generally open, so you've got um, spaciousness there in the hips. Just take a big inhale here. And when you exhale, you might feel the spine get a little bit rounder. Now I'd like to really massage that spine. Maybe it's really served you well. So bring your hands around the shins, around the knees, or don't use any hands at all, and rock back and forth on your spine. So I want you to do whatever feels nice. If you don't want to come all the way up, don't worry about it. I just want you to rock you know, the hands in. Very good. Now the next time you're down, or if you're enjoying this, enjoy it as much as you like. The next time you're down, I'd like you to bring those hands outside of the knees, send the knees out wide, and once again, get your whole back on the ground. So that probably means the knees are forward of your hips, somewhere between your hip bones and your shoulders. Let everything soften, you're in a bit of a back bend here. Now what can feel really good is you let those heels lower a little bit more and then bring the knees in a little bit so you're on the back. So once again, we're rocking on the spine. The feet lower a little bit down and then we bring it back in. So we're doing the same thing we did in the beginning of class, but this time we're easing the back down we're reaching the knees in so we feel it a different way. Do a couple more. Good, just one more. Very good, let's close the knees. We'll roll over to